Hey friends, I hope that you tried the questions in the previous video. If you were not able to make their program, I'd love to know and solve your problems. Please let me know through your comments. So let's head on to the topic. This video focuses on deletion of an element from an array. There can be two ways for deleting an element or uh, I, I should better say that there can be two type of problems regarding deletion from an array. The first one is when you are given the value of that particular element that you want to delete. And in second, you are given the position of that element. The second problem is easier, I think. You just need to go to that specified position and delete that element, right? But in the first problem, since I don't know where that value resides in the array, I need to check each and every element in the array till I find the required value. Also, I don't know whether the value is present in the array or not. But let's say, let's assume that the value is present in the array. Cool. Now I need to search through the array to find that value and then I need to delete it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the second problem to you that is if we have the position of the element to be deleted then I'll explain its algorithm and then I'll modify the previous code which I made for insertion and then I'll explain the first problem and I think you should be the one who will code it. See I want you to learn coding and not to learn codes. So the best way is to understand the problem and make your own code. And if you are stuck anywhere, we are here to help you. You can write your problems in the comments or you can easily mail us. Let's understand the problem. We have an array A which has some element at position pause that we want to delete. Let's take an example. Here pause equals to 3. So we'll simply go to pause and shift left each element at the right of pause by one position. Then you'll have an array that looks like the second array on the screen. Then we decrement the length of our array by one, which means now we'll not be able to see the last element. And thus our problem is solved. Now, as we analyze shifting of element in the previous video, we'll do the same here. There are two ways of shifting. Either start from N and move towards pause, or start from pause and move towards n. As you can see, if we start from n, you will end up having 7 at each position. But if we start from pause, it will serve the purpose. So, we will start shifting our elements from pause and end at n. Now, let's take a look at the algorithm. We have an array A with size n and we have to delete an element at position pause. In step 1, we initialize a counter i equal to pause because we have to shift elements starting from pause. We repeat steps 3 and 4 checking the value of i each time. When i reaches n, we will terminate the loop. In the loop, we write the element present to the right of pause to the element present at pause. This is what should be done to shift, right? Now we increment the counter and when loop is finished, we just have to decrement the size of array by 1 and end the program. So this is the last program that we made, the program for inserting an element in the array. Now we will go. We are going to convert it to deletion. So first thing, convert this uh, comment to deletion. Then one thing that I remember in the last code I did not specify the size of the array or the position of the last element in the array. So I am going to save it in a variable n which is going to be 4 here because I have 4 elements in my array. Then I am um, going to print the array which has a size n this code is going to print the array and then i need only pause from the user so i'm deleting these two things then i'll start from pause move towards 
n incrementing the size incrementing the counter in each iteration then according to algorithm i have to write ai equals to ai plus 1 here then i don't need this line instead i need to decrement the size of array after the loop has ended so the size of array has decremented and then i'll again print the array till n so this should work and i'm going to run this program so it's waiting for the value of pos let's say value of pos is 2 so according to the program this is 0 zero, 0th index first index second index so this should this three should be deleted let's check it i'm pressing enter and yeah three is deleted now i'll explain the first problem that is if we have the value val of the element that we want to delete first we we'll start comparing each element of the array with val starting from the first element the moment we will find the element equal to val we get the position of val now either we can store this position in a different variable pos or we can simply use the present value of counter itself then the following steps are similar to what we did previously so i hope that you will try this problem and revert me back whether you have solved the problem or you have encountered any other problem